man made. But they didn't know what their material was. So, like, you think, they think it was some kind of material from the 1860s or 1850s. 70s? 1850s. But who was down in Alabama in the 1850s? Well, some settlers. Indians. <laughs> Indians. Well, there was people settling in 1820, 18. They were filling yeah. it up with settlers. Yeah. But uh, might have had a, well, what's the name of that place where you where you found it? Barnett Crossing. And at Barnett Crossing, was there some kind of a mill there at one time? No, there was no sign of one in that 1968. Maybe, a, maybe some kind of a glass factory or something? Don't know. Way back when? Don't even know. It was just wood. But they say in that while you found this thing there, after you saw the woods on fire, mm -hmm. you came back the next day and you dug around and you found this yeah. right there where woods had been burning and there yeah. was a hole in the ground, yep. right? Yes, sir. So this thing, you would think, fell out of the sky. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was part of that falling star. But they are not too sure about that. They right. think it's man-made material from some time back in the 1800s. Yeah. So you and I are going to go up to Barnett's Crossing someday, okay. and we're going to wander around up there and see if we can uh, get any more vibrations off of this. Okay. Right. But... uh. I'm pretty sure I can find a place if it ain't built up in houses. Yeah, probably a Walmart built over yeah, it. Probably. Now. now here's the thing: if this particular thing is like a piece of uh, burned up sp Sputnik or something like that, and there's a little bit of Sputnik the dog still in that glass, that would be worth a lot of money. Hmm. Mm hmm. I don't have. I'm like them. I don't have a clue what it is. There were three people and they couldn't agree on, neither one of them couldn't agree on what it was. Hmm. Well, just uh, looks like some kind of melted glass, don't it? Yeah. But it, see, if it had been, if it had been burning up, if this piece had been burning up all the way down, this would have been smoothed off, I think. Yeah. Unless the it, wind done if it. If it had been hot. Now, one had a theory that the lady did. It wind pressure done this. Put these grooves in it. Uh-huh. Oh, well. But we don't know what it was. It looks different here. You know. It's got a something there. Well, I was hoping it'd be worth two and a half million dollars. I was too. I wanted to give you two million and I'd take a half. I don't uh, want too much money. That's only fair. <laughs> that's only fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Falk, it, I, a lot of people have been wondering about this since they saw this on YouTube. Now they're, they're going to see what the professors came up with. This is the people at Florida State Geology Department. Yeah. So, okay. Well, it's a fascinating thing, but we don't have a clue. No. All right. You know no backwoods redneck like me don't know what it is. But we're going to go do a little ex exploring at Barnett's Crossing next time. Sometime uh, in, the next, go? in the next few months we ought to go. Okay, I'll go in. Maybe sometime this summer. We gotta... Okay. But I'm not going to chop any wood. I'm not going I'm not going to do any lumbering while we're up there. <laughs> okay. All right. I cut the lumber when I was up there. That was 45 years ago. Yeah, you do know we got some trees up there at one log though you can haul on a truck. Yeah, that's huge. It's too big. Seven foot through them. Mm. Well, thanks for telling me all this. We'll see what happens.